Hello, uh, Internet. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandon, and this week we're doing something a little different. So this week I wanted to look back at a video I posted on my YouTube channel five years ago when I was 20 years old. I posted a video that was a letter to myself uh, in 2020, five years in the future. So I haven't seen the video since I posted it, probably about four and a half, five years ago. Uh, a little time capsule for myself. So we're going to go over to the computer and uh, watch the video together. Dear Brandon, five years from now, how are you? It's... <laughs> uh, I'm good, thanks. Um, I, can we talk about this folder thing I have going on? I'm not sure. I guess I thought it was a, a creative way to write a letter to myself in the future um <laughs> held together with like paper clips and binder clips <laughs> currently the year 2020 it is which is a long way off are you still making videos <laughs> yes i am still making videos i'd like to think they've gotten a little bit better since then but uh still hovered around the same subscriber count so maybe they haven't maybe i should stop are you still stage no. managing and most importantly are you happy? Oh, man. 20-year-old me, you're killing me. Boy, if I knew at 20 the whole coronavirus thing um, and how it would change my life, I probably would have not asked that question. Um, no, I'm not still stage managing. Uh, I'm actually moved into a different kind of uh, arena entirely. Am I happy? Oh. I'm definitely happier than I than I thought I would be when I was 20. Like, if I could tell 20-year-old me what I've done in the last five years, I don't think I don't think he would believe me. Um, so I'm definitely happier than I had pictured myself, which is, I think, a really good thing. Got to keep taking steps towards uh, improvement, huh? I hope you're doing your best to stay happy. Try it, Brandon. Where are you living currently? <laughs> I can't get through one question. Um, where am I living? Well, um, I travel, I've, well, that's a good question. Um, I've spent the last four years now, almost, um, traveling full time. So I would officially say I'm professionally in between addresses. Um, I'm staying with family for the most part um, and working on getting a place now that my job has been kind of put on cancellation from the uh, pandemic. So uh, officially, I've been between addresses, addresses, address, address I? Officially between addresses for the last four years. But this year, I'm going to probably get a place again since we, you know, may not have big mass entertainment for a while. So stand by on that 20-year-old me. We'll figure that one out soon. I did not think that would be the hard question to answer here. And are you seeing anyone? <laughs> if you are, I hope they're nice to you. But enough questions for a future rant. <sighs> am I seeing anyone? No. I am currently not seeing anyone. I have learned so much about relationships since I posted this video, I, I can't even tell you. Um, so much about relationships and so much about friendships. No, I'm not seeing anyone. And then, let's talk about me, and I mean present me. Right now, I'm 20 years old. I'm living in Ohio, and I'm trying to figure out how to celebrate my 21st birthday. I'm worried about what's coming next, like looking for a car and going back to school. You see, being 20 years old is weird. Um, You're an adult <laughs> and a child. Birthdays have been a weird thing for the last... <sighs> since for the last five years, I guess. Um, I haven't really celebrated my birthday of really in a big way um, since I was like 17. Uh, I just took like a little vacation last year to Florida and like rode a jet ski with some friends and spent the day on the beach, but that was it. I didn't really party or do anything crazy. Um, and this year, of course, my birthday, we, we were in uh, isolation, in quarantine. I was supposed to be in Indonesia uh, on the beach, having a great time the month of April. And instead, I ended up in quarantine and self-isolation uh, back in the States for my birthday. So birthdays have been a thing. Uh, you did get a car, Brandon. Good job. I have to say good job there. I love that little car. That little car, 
I have driven from Ohio to Texas to New York to Florida to North Carolina. I have driven that thing everywhere. I love my little car. Um, so good job there. Going back to school, he didn't do that. Has your sister had Ooh. kids yet? <laughs> no, she is married. Uh, they have two dogs, which they consider their kids. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know if she's trying for kids. Are you doing something that excites you? Also, do you have a flying car? I hope so. <laughs> uh, no, don't have a flying car. I wish I did. Am I doing something that excites me? I was. Um, I was really enjoying traveling and bouncing around the world. But now that that's all been stopped with this, boy, this is a weird time to like respond to this video, man. Like if I had responded to it from like a couple, if I'd responded to this like a month ago, a little more than a month ago when I was like in Spain or France and having a great time, I would probably have a very different perspective. Am I happy? Am I doing something that excites me? Those are all tough questions. I was supposed to go from Europe to Indonesia for the month of April and then to South America and do Brazil and do just a whole bunch of places. This year was my big travel year. So it's a weird time to respond to this video now because it's all been just... That'd be really cool. But most importantly, are you living life to the fullest and laughing every day? I hope so. Love, 20-year-old you from 2015. Oh. My heart. I like, I really like that that was my last question. Um, because I have experienced a lot since then. I mean, uh, gosh, I, I've... Uh, you know, been able to do a lot professionally. I've been able to do a lot emotionally. I've been able to travel a lot, but I also like I lost my mom. Um, you know, in that time frame, so I definitely learned that how important it is to try and uh, always do what you can to live life to the fullest and enjoy every chance you get, uh, even if it's something simple. Enjoying, uh, you know, walks, enjoying nature, enjoying the phone call with your friends. Um, really valuing stuff like that so I, I like that even at 20 before I had learned some of those very hard lessons that I was thinking about it uh, in those terms. This has been a really good experience I think. I know it was maybe a boring video for you to watch but I really liked having this time capsule of being able to look back at myself five years ago and um, have a little conversation with myself. I think that was really uh, interesting for sure, to say the least. Very interesting. That's all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and taking a trip down memory lane with me. Uh, I had a lot of fun talking to 20 year old me. Uh, so uh, if you wanna see some of the videos I made five years ago, um, scroll, scroll on down my video page because they're all still public for some <laughs> unknown reason. And you can see all of my really embarrassing, horribly edited, stupid ideas that I had when I was 20. Um, but uh, leave a comment below. I would be really curious to know. Let me know what would you say to yourself five years ago if you had the chance. I think it'd be a really interesting thought experiment. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more stuff. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye!